Hello there Spybot users and welcome back to the Safer Networking YouTube channel. My name is Rob from Team Spybot at Safer Networking and I'm here today to bring you another video in our web series of Spybot tutorials and instructional videos for the free edition of Spybot Search and Destroy. Today's video will be disabling tracking cookies with the system scan using the Spybot free edition. So let's get started with today's video. So welcome to today's video on Disabling tracking cookies with the system scan using the SpyBot free edition. So what are cookies and why should you disable them? Cookies are information that is saved by your web browser for later use, such as information entered into an online form or login information for a specific website. Cookies are also used to store preferences for certain websites. We recommend to disable tracking cookies to protect your privacy online. If you would like to read more about cookies, you can read the news article on our website entitled why you should care about cookies, which is linked in the description below. So let's go ahead and open up the SpyBot Start Center by right clicking on the SpyBot Start Center desktop icon, then choosing Run as Administrator to launch SpyBot with administrator privileges. Select Yes when prompted by the user account control, then wait for the Start Center to load. Once the Start Center is loaded, you can click on the System Scan icon in the Basic Tools section to open the System Scan window. If you are using a licensed edition of SpyBot Plus Antivirus, a system scan will begin automatically, so if you wish you can cancel the current scan before proceeding to disable tracking cookies. Underneath the last scan area in the system scan window, we see tracking cookies. Tracking cookies are used to create a profile of your online behavior. We recommend to disable tracking cookies to protect your privacy when browsing online. To disable these cookies, click the Disable These Cookies button. This will give you a list of all browsers and browser profiles on your PC. Click on the browser profiles you would like to disable. The browser profile entry should now appear greyed out in the selection list once cookies have been disabled for that browser profile. We recommend to disable tracking cookies for all of your browsers and browser profiles. Once cookies have been disabled, in the system scan window you should see Congratulations, two browser profiles are rejecting third-party cookies. This number will vary depending on the number of browsers and user profiles present on your system, as well as the amount of browsers that you selected to reject third-party cookies. If you would like to re-enable cookies for one or all of your browser profiles, you can click the drop-down arrow beside the Disable These Cookies button, then select Re-enable These Cookies, then choose which browser profiles you would like to have cookies re-enabled on. Now that we have finished disabling tracking cookies, we can close the system scan window and the SpyBot Start Center to conclude today's video tutorial. And that's it for today's video on disabling tracking cookies with the system scan using the free edition of SpyBot Search and Destroy. I'd like to thank you all for watching and hope that you enjoyed today's video. And if you did, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. If you have any queries, you can leave a comment in the comment section below. Or you can get in touch by sending an email to teamspybot at spybot.info or by using the request support page in the support center on the Safer Networking website. I've been Rob from Team Spybot. Thanks again for watching. Stay safe, keep on searching, keep on destroying. See you guys soon.